What's up guys, it's your girl Jay here and I'm back for another video and if you can tell by the title down below, it is a let's play type of video. I got the idea from Miss Nikki Tutorials who I didn't meet personally but I saw her twice um, at Gen Beauty um, when I was waiting online to go see her. So yeah, I wanted to do a let's play video with my new Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and this is the second palette that came out because the first one sold out once or twice um, on the website but when it finally got into Ulta it was a permanent edition it's a permanent edition and because Ulta is finally in Brooklyn if you saw that in my my vlog and also my what did I get um, videos from Ulta in Brooklyn, you would know that I got the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So this is the new packaging. It has the colors and I really don't know what colors I am going to use, but I want to play with it. And I, and I got my Kat Von D studded lipstick and this is in the color Prayer. So I kind of want to use this color with it so it might be a typical um, a typical eye. Um, as you can see, I already have my foundation on. I am using the Clinique 2-in-1 Perfector um, Conceal and Foundation. And I think it looks okay. Let me adjust my lighting and I'll be right back. I adjusted the lighting and I don't look so bright. So hopefully that is okay. So we're going to open up the palette it comes with this I always keep these plastic things I don't throw them away um, so yeah I I really I'm gonna pull this back here's the palette right here yeah I've seen this palette so many times so I don't know what else to do I might I love the fact that there are transition shades and that there are glitter shades and matte shades there's a matte green and that matte green is jada then you got pool party next to it the shimmering color and yeah so i might just go i'm not one of those people that names colors but yeah so let's get to playing as always i prime my eye with my mac paint pot and this again is in laying low if you know me ever since I found out about the MAC paint pots I've been using them so I'm going to take my mirror and I dipped my finger in a color I'm always dipping my finger in a color so I'm going to take with my finger and I'm going to put that on my eyes right now my face looks so flat because I don't have any concealer I don't have any contour any bronzer I don't have anything on my eye so and if you like my little devil emoji don't worry I got God on my side so the devil is always behind me it's never in front of me <laughs> okay now that I got that on, I am going to take I'm going to take one of these transition colors. Most likely, I'm going to take I'm going to take this brown right here. So if this is a green, if that's the third green, I'm going to take Puta or P O T T E R. I don't know how you how you I don't know how you say that, but I'm going to take that color and I'm going to put that in my crease. All right, change of plans. Since that really is not, as you can see, it's really not showing up on my eyelid, I am going to take Mocha. I'm gonna take Mocha and I'm gonna put that in my crease, hopefully to give it some definition cause Puta was not, yeah, there we go. Boom, there you go. Now I'm going to take, I want to take one of these darker shades. So it's going to be like the smoke, I don't know what type of look. I want to take this shade right here. I want to take Central Park. 
Central Park. I want to take, no, I'm going to take a best. I'm going to, no, soda pop. Yeah, I'm going to take soda pop and then I'm going to put that on the outer part of my eye. I'm going to use this Ipsy brush, this precise blender. I'm just going to put that on the outside of the eye. I really like how that looks. And if you notice you made a small mistake, you could take your original blending brush and just blend that out. I really like that. Now, I am, I want this to be the way this is looking right now with that brown and the little brown black and the little dark black, I want to make this cranberry. So this color right here at the end, cran apple, I'm gonna take this cran apple and then I'm gonna put that all over the lid. Now I want this to pop so I'm going to find a flat brush in my cup of brushes. I have so many brushes and most of the time I don't use them for how they're supposed to be. Your fingers a lot of the time are the best tool. So I'm going to take my finger and just and then I'm going to use my finger to like blend it out. So like there's no harshness with it. But you're still gonna take, go back with the brush. You're still gonna go back with the brush that you put on the darker color and you're gonna still like help smoke that out. So that's one eye. And these, and these shadows from my, from the touch are very, it's, it's creamy. They are creamy. All right, I'm gonna go back with my crease to make sure that's blended to make sure no harshness there and then I want to go back with the finger again with the color because I don't want to lose the color with it I like it. I love it. So one more time for the blend. That's what I'm going with. Yes, I like this. Three simple colors. Boom, boom, boom. Cranberry, smoky. I I like it. All right, that is, that's what, all I got for the eye right now. I really like how this turned out. So I never really put anything on the bottom lash line because I don't, I don't know how to really do that really well as of yet. So when I do more practice and I do get better, I will put, I would do that on camera for you guys. But I'm gonna put on some eyeliner, some mascara, and some lashes, and then I will come back and do the rest of my face for you. All right, guys, it took a while, but I got these lashes on, and these are the first time I'm wearing them. I got these, I got this lot, these lashes at Gen Beauty, and these are the Ilor Blogger Collection. X, and this one is the Nicole Guerrero one and hashtag 143 and it's supposedly feather light feel easy on gentle off um, these are for definition and I think it really does give different definition the band was a little stiff so you would have to work with it a little bit I got these on I got them on I'm gonna stop I'm gonna stop messing with it now the big test is can I wear my glasses with these and I can I can wear my glasses with these that's always the big test when it comes to um if you wear glasses or not if you could wear lashes with your glasses so that was a plus now I was looking as I'm looking in the mirror and stuff like that I want a little corner 
highlights because I put eyeliner at the bottom and I always do a dramatic wing and I don't know why. So I'm going to take, what is this, the third color from the top, I'm or no, the back. So I'm going to take Faint and I'm going to just pop that in the inner corner and see how that goes. So we're just going to Oh, yes, 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 yes. I like that. Cause I never really, I never did an inner corner highlight, so. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna do that. So it can make it pop. And I really like the feel of these. how that look? That made it look better? Okay, good. All right, now we got the eyes. Now it's time to do the rest of the face. I am going to take Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to conceal. Um, I'm not gonna put too much because it is a little ashy on me and that was a lot right there. So I'm just gonna do two dots. I'm gonna move a little bit of that around. And then I'm gonna do my forehead, my chin, any smile lines. Just dots. <laughs> I'm gonna take, I forgot which sponge this is, but I'm gonna take that and I'm going to conceal. Did that so now I'm going to do the Kat Von D translucent setting powder. I just spilled a bunch of powder. I look crazy, I know. But now we are, we is going to have to dust it off and then it's time to powder contour because, and bronze, because I really know how to powder contour. So we're going to take a big fluffy bud and we're going to dust away. That really didn't sit there that long. And then we still got a powder the rest of the face. We still gotta powder the rest of the face, so it really doesn't matter. And see, just from me putting the powder in the comp in the highlight in a little bit more, it made my nose look smaller. My favorite contour palette in the world, and that is by Black Radiance. It is perfect three in one. You got your contour shade, your sculpting shade, and a highlighter, but I never really used a highlighter. So I am going. Let me get the mirror. I am going to do a little sculpting to make sure I'm not like pasty white. And then I'm going to use the same and contour. Like you see, you see that? That's all I wanted to do. Take this 20 head and make it into at least a 10 forehead. And then we go on this side. I want one of those contour brushes, you know, but I think NARS has one. I think, um, who else has one? Um, Elf, I saw Elf have one, and I should have gotten it while I saw it, but I was being cheap, like always. Um, Cause I didn't want to spend $10 on a brush. Um, I really didn't spend, I don't like spending money. I really don't. But yeah, I go in Sephora every every other week or every week. So I just I just don't get it. Put it. I got a double chin, so have to, you know, 
push that back. But yeah, I really, I really, I really love this contour. It's easy, it's simple, and it's hard. First, it's hard to, it's hard to mess it up. Like I think it's hard to mess it up. If you mess up, if you mess up a powder contour, then I, I really don't know what to say for you. All right, now I'm going to bronze a little bit. I'm not a lot. This is Bobbi Brown in the color deep so I'm just gonna take that and not much a 20 head into a 10 head that was simple now blush for blush I really did like the way this came out and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hill blush trio and very adore. I'm going to take one of my favorite highlighting brushes, but I'm going to use it for the blush. And if you notice, I have the plastics on all of my things. Like, I'm OCD like that. And I still have the plastic on the mirror. Like, so I'm going to take this middle shade right here. And that is erotic. And I'm going to take that. I'm going to do the mm hmm face. And just going to. Mm-hmm. See, it's very nice and subtle. It's not that bad. I don't know if you can see it with the lights, but just one small dab because this is because this stuff is pigmented. Mm-hmm. Alright, now it's time for the Feast de Resistance. Well, face-wise, I will be using one of my favorite highlighters. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. But first, my hair itches. Uh, but first, I bought this over the week, over this weekend, with the 20% off. It is the Cover Effects Mattifying Setting Spray. We all know I like to be m -m 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 matte. So they say shake well, so I'm shaking as well as I can. Yeah. So first, there we go. All right, and then we're just gonna Mega Glow Highlighter, Fan Brush, just like that, and on the high parts, there we go, high parts of the cheeks, see that glow, see that glow, you're going to take any brush and I always love to do this underneath the brow bone so you can get like a good color. I look matte. I love looking matte. I don't like I don't like looking shiny at all. So now we are going to do the lipstick that we wanted to do. For lipstick is the Kat Von D again in the in the color prayer. And I have foundation on my lips because I have really pink lips. And there you have it guys, the final look using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I really do love these colors. Um, the colors I chose is like a cranberry it's a little bit of smoky on the end. I really do like it. Um, I can't wait to use this palette some more. It is not endorsed because I am nowhere near getting endorsed yet. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button. It's down below. If you're on your computer, it is right down there. If you're on your cell phone, it is right over there. Please make sure you hit that notification button so you can be part of the J Squad and make sure you thumbs up this video so you can see more videos from your girl. And right now, I'm gonna leave some related videos over the devil because you're gonna let the devil be get behind us devil get behind me devil i am a child of god that's right some videos right there and right there and like always guys be blessed be safe and have a good evening later guys <laughs>